Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I do mainly beauty videos, fragrance, and the occasional lifestyle vlog. So if those are the type of videos you enjoy watching, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and come join the family. So today's video is gonna be my March fragrance tray okay most of these fragrances are super affordable under 100 and a lot of them are going to be under 50 dollars. so let's just jump right into it so first up is a perfume that's sort of new to my collection and this is a yara perfume this one is yara moy so i have the pink one currently i think they have a black one they have the yellow one which i didn't like but the white one has been a hit for me so i was surprised to read the notes of this one i'm and i'm excited to wear it this month to me this is a clean floral fragrance with maybe some fruity notes in there but the notes of this fragrance does contain amber and caramel it does have patchouli which i get patchouli may be in there because i get like a gardeny fresh type of uh, vibe from this one but it has patchouli in it has a little bit of sandalwood and it does have some fruity notes but the amber and the caramel i really couldn't believe that was in here but i suppose you may get a hint of it but it's nice overall to me it's like a clean gardeny fresh type of upbeat fragrance and i do enjoy it next fragrance is a new fragrance to my collection as well and i was gifted this from dior and this is miss dior blooming bouquet y'all such a pleasant surprise i also own miss dior which Miss Dior, fun fact, Miss Dior was like one of the fragrances I wore all throughout my early 30s. I started off in my 20s. My main fragrance that I used to wear all the time, like when I ran out of it, I would go get another, which was Flower Bomb from Victor and Roth. But once I turned 30, I graduated to Miss Dior and I thought that was it but they changed the formula of Miss Dior and I don't like it as much as I liked it before, you know, they reformulated it, but it's still a nice scent. But this blooming bouquet, y'all, this is so much better than Miss Dior to me. Oh, y'all, it has a couple different kinds of rose in here. It just smells fruity. There's some fruity notes in here. I think there's peach in this one. There's a tiny bit of musk, just enough musk to make it smell expensive. It's like a smooth, refined musk, not like a harsh, strong, manly musk or anything like that. It is pretty. Love it. <laughs> I can tell this is going to be a fragrance that I wear a lot, probably during like spring and summer, because this just smells like fr like a fresh spring or summer day to me but yeah miss dior blooming bouquet next fragrance on the tray this month is a dupe for one of my favorites which is gentle fluidity gold from maison francis kirk de john but this one's from amazon this is barricade gentle go <laughs> Gentle Gold, y'all. It's a dupe for Gentle Fluidity Gold. And it smells so good. I can't believe it smells this expensive like Gentle Fluidity Gold does. But I'm excited to wear this one. I'm not able to pull up any notes. I don't see any notes on Amazon nor Fragrantica on this. But it smells so similar to Gentle Fluidity Gold. So I'll put the notes to that one up there. Although the Juniper Berry that's in Gentle Fluidity Gold in here here to me it's giving more like an apple maybe um but with all the other notes comprised in this it still gives you the overall like 90 percent of the scent smells like gentle fluidity gold y'all this is good it's slightly more musky than gentle fluidity gold and the musk doesn't smell like it's as expensive as the musk that's in gentle fluidity gold but other than that, overall, you get the same scent. It's a really nice scent, and I do recommend it. Uh, Gentle Fluidity Gold gives you like this vanillic, slightly ambery, a little musky, a little fruity, uh, very classy, refined, pretty girl scent. And this is what it's given. Like I said, it's a little bit stronger of a musk. But if you don't have Gentle Fluidity Gold, especially, you will not be able to tell the difference. And although I do own 
on the real thing it's super close so i especially wanted to get this on those days that i want to do fragrance layering combos and stuff like that but it's a nice fragrance next fragrance is another new fragrance to my collection and i picked up a travel size this is a really pretty scent since i just got it i definitely wanted to get it on the tray this month and this is going to be something i wear to bed so this is in too deep from five sins as i was looking up the notes of this i noticed that it's pretty much out of stock everywhere so i don't know if somebody shouted this out <laughs> like a big influence or something and sold it out but it's going to be hard to get your hands on this right now but i'll find where it's in stock or maybe you can get it at your local sephora because it's for it for shipping it's pretty much out of stock but uh in too deep is a beautiful really soft soft scent so there's pretty much no presence to this that's why I say it's for bedtime because it is when I tell you so pretty this is a lovely lovely scent it has Tahitian vanilla Italian bergamot sparkling sugar Australian sandalwood and musk all of those notes are really soft though it just smells like a soft vanillic marshmallow that's like the main vibes of it is imagine a soft cloudy marshmallow that's sweet and maybe a little bright lovely one of my favorite bedtime scents that's very soft and light and angelic is Zherzhov's Dama Bianca and although it's different than this that's a vanilla scent too but it smells different than this this gives you sort of that really soft scent not the same scent but it's that kind of a soft scent maybe even softer but it's really pretty and very pleasant but like i said there's not much of a presence to it it's one of those skin scents that somebody would be it, only in a close encounter would someone be able to smell you so it's going to be a wear to bed type of situation and i wouldn't buy a full bottle because it is just that soft but it's also just that pretty so the next fragrance going on the tray is time for soleil blanc and this is one of my favorite <laughs> fragrances in my entire collection this is beautiful this is a white floral coconut scent that for me just gives straight vacay straight beach vibes okay so this one has notes of amber and tonka bean it does have ylang ylang and tuberose in here there's some bergamot and a little bit of pistachio i didn't realize it was pistachio in here but now that they say it i get pistachio out of here y'all it is nice it smells oh my gosh smells super expensive smells different and unique there's nothing in my collection that smells like this i recently got a sample of a uh, dior fragrance from their Privé line that smells something like this along the lines of it but it's just a sample um, but other than that nothing in my collection smells like this very refined something you want to wear spring summer for sure this is the fragrance i always wear to the casino <laughs> i like to play roulette i go every now and again to uh the casino in louisiana and this is always the one i wear so i also put tom ford soleil blanc the shimmering body oil on the tray this month just so i could kind of wear them together uh, it's getting a little bit hot outside our colder months is pretty much gone at this point um so i'm gonna put this on my body it's very uh let me show y'all how it looks very shimmery and it has those same sort of um coconut beach vibe smell to it so it leaves a pretty sheen smells similar it doesn't smell the same i wouldn't say that it's like a dupe for the fragrance because it's not as fragrant as the actual perfume version of it i would say that a man or a woman could wear a uh, soleil blanc as well now my man would wear soleil blanc but a guy that wants something that's not too masculine but not too feminine you know just like a straight down the middle situation i could see like a metrosexual type of man wearing it and getting away with it like it smells really nice it's quite shimmery i don't know if you guys can see it. it's not as shimmery as the um you know the fenty butter drop that smells like the honey bun or cinnamon roll it's not as shimmery as that but it's somewhat shimmery and it looks really good in the sun so i added my two new finery fragrances on the tray this month because i want to play around with these and see what's the longevity like does it change after a few hours i want to wear it a good amount of times so that's why it's on the tray so i have pistachio please and this is the body 
body mist. All of the their body mists do have a actual perfume, um, but I hadn't been able to find those. So I picked up the body mist. This pistachio please smells so good. Y'all, it smells like marshmallows and pistachios. It's vanillic and very creamy. Nice. It's fresh. You smell some florals in there. This is pretty. If you didn't like the Kaali Yum Pistachio, you may like this. Give this one a try. And they have testers at Target, so you can kind of see if you like it before you buy it. And then I also have the new Rouge from Finery. This is also the Body Mist. And this is a Baccarat Rouge. I mean, it's in the name. So it is a Baccarat Rouge dupe except it smells a little brighter and fruitier. I actually like it a little bit more than Baccarat because to me, this is a little bit more casual and upbeat than Baccarat is. It's really sweet. It has that woodsy undertone. It has that sexiness from Saffron in here. Y'all, this is pretty. This is another one I would say, if you feel like Baccarat is too serious or too woodsy or too masculine, because to me, it's a little masculine and I'm not crazy about masculine scents at all. But this is a brighter, more fun take on Baccarat Rouge. So if you didn't like that one, maybe try this one out to see if you'll like it better because I actually do. I wear the X straight uh, version. I only wear it on like special occasions because to me, it's more fancy. But this one's an everyday wearable scent and it smells really nice. And the last fragrance on my tray is YSL's Mon Perry. Mon Perry is a fruity floral that is extremely layered, y'all. Mon Perry has about a thousand fragrance notes in here. Ooh, it's so pretty though. To me, this is an everyday wearable scent. It's so super layered, but it's bright and fun. To me, it gives springtime. You could wear it anytime. This is casual. It's not super fancy. It does have uh, fruity notes, a ton of them. It has strawberry, raspberry, pear, and orange in here. Uh, it does have some florals. We have a bunch of white florals we have some peony there's white musk it's grounded with some patchouli and ambroxan some cedar a little vanilla like i said it's super layered but it's really pretty you guys this is a pretty this is a soft pretty feminine scent very bright this is one of those scents that's a mood elevator puts you in a good mood just smell nice and fresh and ladylike love it <laughs> YSL Mom Perry actually gives you the same vibes of the uh, Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet YSL Mom Perry is more layered than the Dior Blooming Bouquet although they're the same type fruity floral bright springtime type scents so that's it for my March fragrance trays I didn't want to go too crazy and add a bunch of fragrances because I really want to be able to spend a good amount of time with each one this month so comment down below let me know have you tried any of these scents what are your thoughts also what fragrances are you adding to your tray this month hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today if you did I would love for you to give me a big thumbs up if you're new here welcome I would love for you to come join the family by hitting the subscribe button Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cause I've been where you are. Don't you scared to show me love? Cause too fresh with the scars. But I don't have the answers.